Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Quantum Mechanics Q-Fig of Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Now, one of the things I like about this packaging is it's kind of reminiscent of, like, her jacket and, like, the iconography of Harley in that movie. You got the little quote here on the side, you know, you got the design of the jacket on the back, and, uh, like, even inside the packaging, there is, like, a little, like, daddy's little monster thingy, you know? So that's fun. Let's uh, take her out of the plastic here. Here's a quick close-up look at the figure, just so you could see all the details of the Q-Fig. One of the nice things is that the base is removable, and you can kind of just take a look at the, uh, you know, the artwork on there. The figure plugs on really easily, so that's nice. Um, a lot of good details to take in here, as far as you know, the side of the bat and the smoke coming off the side there, the, the kind of clear plastic they used, um, the detail on her shirt, just the lining of her coat, and just like the paint on the pockets. The, uh, the artwork on the back is really well done too, as is like the gold paint lining her belt, the separation of colors on her little shorts, the sculpt of the, uh, the belt looks good, even the uh, little diamonds on her leg, and the details of her boots as far as the black and the white goes. Uh, the pose she's in, the details, a lot of the good details on like the bracelet there, and the hair, and like the overall face sculpt. Like the kind of childlike glee that we get on that head. The, you see the uh, the blue eyeball paint, the uh, eyebrow paint, really good like yellow paint there. Um, and then the tips of the hair, there's some really good fading as far as the red and the blue goes. And good sculpting in the hair too, especially in the front, the way that the hair kind of, the bangs part and kind of flare, and some good paint there with the uh, smile on the lips too. There is a lot of strong sculpting in this figure. I mean, I already raved about the hair and stuff, but really all the little tiny, like little pointed studs on her belt, uh, the expression's really good. Uh, one thing I really like is the little smoke coming off right here. You know, a lot of the uh, Q-Figs have uh, like little childish, childlike poses and things going on with them. And now in the movie, you know, she does hold her bat, you know, like a gun. So I like that, you know, the way kids, you know, play and use their imagination. We now take her bat and make it into like an imaginary gun with a smoking barrel. I think that's fun. It adds some like a uh, little like kitty playtime, childish whimsy to this. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, I think the details on this are great. The paint's really clean, really well done. So, like, if you're a fan of Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad, I think you would love this. Because not only is the figure good, but, like, the base has a nice little iconic bag of her jacket kind of design. I think this is great. Um, if you're interested in getting this, you can order it on, like, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, Entertainment Earth, QMX Online, like, directly. So I'll put the link down below for that. Uh, it retails for $14.95. Fourteen ninety five. There we go. Annunciation. Uh, yeah, really good. Really dig this. If you're a fan, you're gonna like it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff.